Hello ladies and gentlemen, anything Peterson back with another video in my series of reactions to The 100, Season 3, Episode 8. The last time we probably had like top 3 of the saddest episodes, we saw both the thing in the flashback where he lost his family and the whole whole world kind of, you know, almost ended. Um, and uh, we also got Lex's death, which was also very sad, um, especially after they, they just got together so well and you know, kind of, kind of admitted their love to each other, and then something like this happens. Um, so yeah, it was a really, really sad episode. And I'm trying to bit should do something a bit different with the sound today. So please tell me down in the comments if you think it's a bit better. I'll try to just take some of the background noise off, so that it's a bit more smooth and a bit more um, nice to hear. Um, so yeah, just going quickly going through um, the last episode. We had maybe the best plot in this episode so f in this season in this whole series so far, um, with the with the background ninety seven years ago with uh, Becca who um, created Ali, with these other guys, um, and sh she uh, she's now looking for version two, which is the thing that she had in which both Becca and Lex and all the other commanders had in their neck. So um, she's kind of looking for. I don't know that's the only thing I don't know how she how she used that I don't know but she's looking for that uh, version 2 she got version 1 right now I don't know what the difference is I don't know how it works I mean he said um, th this pill Jaha said that it removed pain by you know blocking it in the brain but apparently it just takes your bad memories away it kind of sounded like when he couldn't remember Wells even though he could after getting reminded of it um, but yeah, that that's pretty that's pretty bad if it takes your memories away to to make you happy, because um, then it removes more than just pain. As Abby said, that was a really good line, and yeah, because of that, um, that's that's the only thing I don't quite get how they can be in the city. If, is it, it's probably it's just something they imagine, but how it works, I don't know. I don't think I'll get to know it unless they're gonna explain it in a very very deep way. Because I'm not like a doctor or anything. Um, we saw Titus fighting. He's a very good fighter. He both fought Simit, um, the guy trying to to kill the uh, the commander Alexa, and Murphy. Just quickly going through the plot. Please correct me if I'm wrong. I think I got it. She cr created uh, version one of Ali, um, took into space, working on version two, and um, then she fired these atom bombs. And uh, she wasn't quite finished with uh, version two, but she she took it herself uh, into her neck and um, yeah then she, she took off to the ground because their shuttle was sh shot by the, the, the Ark. <laughs> um, she took her she took a pot or something went down there herself and one of you guys said in the comments that she used this um, you know she inject injected something that was night blood. I didn't quite think of that, you know, I was just kind of confused about that. So that's genetic kind of showed, she took some of it with her as well. Thank you so much for saying that. Um, that's nice. We saw her having this little suitcase with them in it. And uh, that's why there's night blots now. Um, so yeah, it all makes sense now. It's pretty, pretty awesome when things come together like that. And uh, so yeah, that Ellie survived on, on the ground looking for version two. That's where we are. Uh, so yeah, she'll, she'll probably try to make all her minions take take version two now because she controls them. It feels like it's, it kind of con feels like she controls Jaha at least, and he's kind of their leader. Um, but yeah, let's jump right into the next episode. Force to engage. I believe they were attempting to secure a defensive position when they cease transmissions. They got the blockade up. From the island with their last. It appears they're establishing the blockade. There's no way through it. Something's changed. Sir? You didn't see this. They're just fighting back like you're fighting. He said he'd seen it before. It's like when uh, they came for Finn. Because they also sent a couple of riders, I think. Talk. We seek the one you call Pike. Right there. Why? An army has fallen. Blood soaking the earth where he took their lives one by one. 
welcome to the war against us. It's enough. Let's go. They won't leave. I have seen this before. The men who wore those uniforms took a long time to die. Relic salt. That's an old wound. You do not give up your leader. You will all take a long time to die. Bellamy, choose the side that's best for your people. He's gonna kill them. I do that every day. Hmm. Maybe a week before we go critical. A week. We start rationing immediately. <laughs> immediately it is. What about breaking the blockade? After Bellamy's theatrics this morning, they'll expect that. <laughs> Regardless, we can't engage the grounders until we've got our own people under control, and that starts with Kane. I need you to suspend access to the prisoners. No contact with anyone in camp. For all we know, they've been providing intel on grounder villages to Kane. It's an old That's kind of true. But it's true. The walls have ears. Right there. And we can't afford any more assumptions about who's a friend and who isn't. Not your oldest acquaintance. Not your husband, wife, or lover. We're fighting two wars now. And the more dangerous one is here, inside this camp. We can't prove it yet. But Kane and his accomplices passed information to Octavian. Vice fashion. And hand them to the grounders. That would be murderous. Not to mention treason. And it's not who we are. Here we so we need to be. Now we know Kane is good with a gun. Not yet. Not yet. Then what's the plan? What do you mean there's no more alcohol? What kind of a bartender are you? First off, I'm not a bartender. You can say that again. Good enough. Too bloody. I told you. Yeah, it's still 20%. But you need more resources. How? We need to increase the population of the city with light. The more minds turn to the task, hmm. the more powerful that would become. Oh, the yeah, yeah, because she controls them. Because she knows what they know. When Abby shut us down, Pike confiscated our equipment. Then we need to get it back. You don't really believe you can make enough bullets to stop all the grounders, do you? I have to. <laughs> you need to turn yourself in. And in this blockade. Is that why you're here? Just run this plan by me? I'm here because I have a responsibility. To speak to you like someone who understands this world. Should there be booze? I lied. <sighs> Damn it. <laughs> but I brought you here to talk about something you might find even more interesting. The City of Light. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna figure that out. I'm thinking you. Oh. Uh -huh. Well, we were just talking about how I'm a drunken idiot. Pike put Monty in charge of internal surveillance. And he knows Monty. got him in on electronic security as well. Which means we don't have to crack Pike's password. Just Monty's. And who knows more about Monty than you? Five digits. It's a terrible idea. I'm in. <laughs> Pick them off. You got the firepower for that? We won't need it. We have a dozen concussive anti personnel devices in our armory. We've already got a weapons man rigging them with a remote trigger. We load the APDs into the rover and mine the field before we attack. Hmm. After we strike, we lure their reinforcements onto the ridge. Once we have enough grounders in the killing box, we detonate. It'll buy us some time, but time's what we need. Oh shit! They wanted them to hear. Last chance to pull out. This plan has a high probability of going south. Right. Yeah, I wouldn't miss it. Hmm. Got something going. 
Oh shit. About the rover. It's a bad thing. Said the solenoids acting up, so I thought I'd swap it out. Got a work order for that? Sure. Make it to my desk. Oh no. 